I'd love to ask you about meeting Harold Pinter. Yes. Because um, I know that our, our friends at Leeds with their Pinter Legacy oh, project yes, yes. are very interested to hear stories, um, you know, uh, about people's experience. You directed the premier production of The Dumb Waiter in London. In London, that's right. What happened was that um, Walter Hart, an actor who was director of the Central School, he said, I think you ought to look at this play, with The Dumb Waiter. And so I, I said, oh, we'll do it in the first season, the more than hall. And I met with Howard he, in a pub. And I remember sitting across the table from him, and it's a typical gesture, taking off his glasses, leaning towards me very intensely, and saying, what would happen if you and I were locked in a room for a long time? <laughs> he said, that's what the play is about. That's true. Um, <laughs> and uh, then he directed the, the room, we did the double bill, got rave reviews, went to the Royal Court. And years later, he had a big party at the house, people on every floor. And I said to Vivian, what is this for? She said, it's how else we are thanking the people who helped him mm. in his career. Mm. Um, but I was never a close friend. I mean, he was always very friendly if I bumped into him. Um, so that's, my, that's all I have to say. Did, did Except there's a lovely thing. Uh, in the final, we, had, we could only book, we had to dress rehearsals on a Friday night, perform on Saturdays and Sundays. And the caretaker of the school hall, grudging, very unsophisticated chap, he stood at the back of the hall watching the run through of the dumb waiter, and he said, Hey, the reason why the, that one chap kills the other is because he talks too much, isn't it? Perfect, because the, the intellectuals went it open, they were all arguing, <laughs> what was this about? And that's what it was about. I how I was delighted with that, yes. Absolutely. Yes. There was a critic who, who um, when my, my production opened in the West End, uh, pontificated, but who is Wilson? They talk of Wilson. Is Wilson God? And Harold was furious. He said, "No, he's Wilson." <laughs> but was the was the room? Was it a double bill? At the, at a Hampstead? double bill. Yes, yes. And when you read these plays, did you did you get them, or did you did you oh, need I, a little I, bit of deciphering? No, I was excited straight away. Yes, how could one not be? Well, some people, of course, no, that's true. Don't 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 get it, and don't. No, don't and then the critics certainly did, except for Harold. Uh, the birthday party just off in a week. Why do you think critics are, are, are sometimes so incredibly uh, slow to see something really new and uh, uh, and exciting? Is it because they 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 see too much theatre and therefore they're addicted to what they know? That's, I mean that's possible. I wouldn't know, but I would I would hate to be a critic night after night after night. Yes, and you do have to sit through some dross anyway. But the room is a, is a mystifying. Play. Oh, it is, and very very funny for that reason. Mm. Was Henry Wolf in your in your? Oh yes, he was. Yes, playing Mr. Kidd. Yes, he was, and Vivian as well. Yes, it was a very exciting time. And George Levy made a great mistake when they transferred to the Royal Court. He put the dumb waiter on first, whereas coming second after the room, he got much more laughs. Yes, yes. When I did the readings at the, for the Royal Court's fiftieth of those two plays. We did it the right way round. Yes, yes. And there was quite a good payoff. Yes.